Hello, how are you doing? Today, let's take a look at career path, beginning a new career or skill. Now, there are many circumstances. We succumb to this uh, situation. Um, I take, I'm taking a scenario where um, it's the most uh, uh, difficult case where all you have is uh, a 10 plus 2 um, certificate that to you done it maybe uh, 10 years ago then and right now you're struggling to find a job now you really need a job okay so keeping that in mind and uh, uh, i'm starting from uh, all the possibilities right from the beginning okay uh, to maybe all the way up to maybe graduation plus okay now what's the next step obviously the next step is to pick up a skill okay well at the least you can do short term certificate and diploma courses which are skill based that shows that currently you are continuing your education efforts then you pick up internships okay sufficient internship at least six months plus that shows you got some work experience in the new skill set um, that you just acquired now that's not enough because you need some foundation uh, supporting skills that are applicable to any skill for that reason because we are living in a digital uh, period so uh, if you don't have it you must have you must um, get trained for basic computer skills and english language okay now if with that being said and uh, your next step will be either to um, work for an office or do an online job okay either offline or online um, you can be also thinking of doing a freelance, but I don't think you're maybe ready yet. But you need to get some experience, right? And uh, maybe it's more ap apt that you get employed first, okay? Now, the level one jobs, especially for those who are 10 plus 2 uh, past, uh, 10 plus 2 certificate, maybe you want to look at either level one or level two. So, DTP center. Um, you need to get trained on Adobe InSign, InDesign, I'm sorry. This software is mostly used for page layout, requirements, design, build, edit, etc. And then finally print. That's what DTP centers do. You also want to learn a Microsoft Office, Word and Excel at least. Okay. Then you're ready for DTP. In case you want to be an, uh, if you are someone you are in a test for account accounting, then why don't you learn the retail store accounting softwares? It's not a big deal. Uh, these are mostly the one used. Before you jump in to learn uh, any of these, why don't you uh, go around in your city and find out um, what do they use? Okay. And based on that, you want to make sure that you are learning something that is needed in your city, uh, right? Uh, that's a uh, uh, mere common sense. Now, the third one is data entry. Data entry job actually need no skills, okay? All you need is computer plus internet, and then typing skills. And it is critical that you type it with attention. Because the more errors you you make in a DTP, I mean in a data entry kind of job, data entry kind of job, it is likely that you may have difficulty get to get the next work. Okay. Now, having said that, what you need to do is sign up with freelancing websites. We will see them uh, shortly, and they will send you the material. Uh, okay, and you look at them and start ty start typing. You can make 300 to 15, sorry, 300 to 1500 per hour based on your experience and speed, okay, and accuracy. So 
So that's about level one. Now, hold on a second. Uh, is it? Um, one second. I got stuck here. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Now, level two. Okay, this is a little more um, asking for more efforts or little more, uh, I would say, analytical and uh, educational uh, expectations are high on level two. Uh, but if you have the, um, what you call the dare uh, mind, you can pick up this also. Uh, okay. It's all mat what matters is whether you really want it or not. Well, education also assist, uh, is required because you don't want to have such a big gap. Anyway, level two is dif more difficult than level one. Virtual assistant jobs. Okay, what is, okay, let me see what I wrote here. Well, uh, virtual assistant jobs, you can find them in upwork.com. Just in quoting one example. Uh, before you apply, make sure you made, uh, make sure your equipments are ready, basically computer, microphone, camera, whatever. Then set up your home office. Okay, with that being done, you can apply for virtual assistant jobs. We will see more details what this job is. Okay, very shortly. Now I got something here. Let me see. Uh, yeah. Before we go there, let me continue the discussion on um sell your products now when sell your products in the sense uh say you are very good at crafts fabrics things like that right anything for that matter uh, create a inventory or, or in in a, in a sense create the stock okay sufficient enough so that when you become a e-store in amazon and ebay and all that you should have sufficient stock to honor the orders right then uh, they themselves these e-commerce company themselves will send their logistics team to pick up your order basically what it tells is you can sell anything you want uh, during this digital era all you need is the thing uh, that you have meaning all you need is the inventory whatever you are selling then you can set up a e-store and sell it all right now let me show you something about virtual assistants uh, this is a screen let me show you yes hold on what happened um it's loading okay so all you need to do is go to google and just uh, type this okay and you will find uh, the virtual assistant jobs available in the internet for example we look at the details and apply okay this is the description of the job all right um, just want to make show you this okay now let's go back uh, back to our yeah yes next one is telemarketing telemarketing um, as you know is over the telephone you are doing the marketing job right basically you are trying to get the potential customers you are trying to sell the products um, the company will give you sufficient training I guess then all you do is make telephone calls uh, get connected to the uh, potential customer explain them and convince him to buy your product now for that again all you need to do is go to Google and type this okay and that's all you need to do and you'll see all the jobs available all right now if you see here they explain here the description of the job okay and they explain here how much you get in a month and all that thing all right okay let's come back now daily sales same thing actually but image is very close. Marketing is more about advertising kind of conversation. Sales is, uh, is focused on sales. Logistics. Um, so telesales also all you need to do is go do a Google search for telesales. Okay. 
also you can go to um, job websites like monster and the stuff like stuff like that uh, you don't have to remember all these things you just go to google uh, search it and then they will show you all the relevant links go there and subs uh, sign up and keep going now logistics logistics in a simple way all that means is there is some uh, goods sitting somewhere uh, it is getting transported and you need to have, there should be someone to come and pick up track this thing and finally deliver on time okay this is a simple explanation but this is a complex process because it 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 matters what is involved is it a ship or cargo flight or is just a two wheeler okay so based on your interest you pick up a course uh, and join in the appropriate company okay the company can be a simple retail uh, thing to you know, corporations all right now there are courses available hmm? so logistics is a very uh, promising field to, to get the job and here is an interesting one digital marketing skill well let's take a look digital marketing yes so this is purely uh, a marketing um, what do you call um, a marketing strategy or a method or whatever used by companies marketing department as you know that now nowadays everything is on internet right every company is in internet and, and online they it's a significant um, area now so digital marketing skill is something you really want to maybe uh, see whether you want to pick up or not uh, because it's very promising and well paid uh, and, well paid also this is the need of the hour now as you see um, this this team or if you are a digital marketing person or you are responsible to promote the company in all the possible ways okay and you use all the digital channels available and you keep advertising and reaching out to the potential customers okay and it doesn't matter the, the your potential Customer will be in, uh, will be doing a search. Uh, he will be visiting a website which is very popular. Uh, he may be doing something in the desktop. Then you show some pop or whatever. Mobile phones and emails, social media, SMS, all kinds of digital stuff. You need to get expert in this area so that you know how to sell your company's product and services and you know who is ask looking for it in the first place and good girl uh, adsense etc comes as a uh, play maker in this field okay all right now next one is social media marketing this is the sub component of this digital marketing uh, i think you will be, you will be pretty much knowing this also when you do if, when you know digital marketing I guess you will be knowing this also. Now, online tutoring. Interesting. Uh, there are a significant uh, number of people doing this. Okay. And now, all you need is you must be a subject expert. If you are very good in physics, you can do that. For that matter, any 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 subject. Uh, but chemistry, physics, maths, etc., um, and language also. Are greatly in demand I guess then you must have a tutoring experience for sure because you don't you cannot um, you, you, then only you can deliver right and the, here are the websites you, you may want to evaluate for signing up and they definitely have a um, what do you call interview process okay now what if you have you are excellent in non-academic tutoring hmm? If that is the case, for example, cooking, martial arts, all that thing, yoga, these things uh, are also in need in the in the world. Okay, in, uh, across the, I mean, these things are also in need in the internet. Okay, so one uh, suggestion is that uh, you are aware that there is a uh, this, uh, there is a company called Udemy. They are into education uh, industry so they have a website if you go there you can see something called virtual classroom 
this is actually free you can use it but it's only for non-academic tutoring okay and all you need to do is just offer your um, what do you call your skill uh, then if people are interested they'll uh, buy you and you uh, then you do the what do you call then you start your work and these are the typical rate per, per hour all right now level uh, level three we are moving into level level three jobs video editor this i don't think need any explanation this is the time uh, this is a digital era this is online business everything online and you see so many videos right uh, it doesn't matter a video is everywhere uh, so so is the need for video editor all right so video editing softwares are i mean courses are there uh, why don't you learn it because it's very interesting i guess even a 10 plus 2 certificate person can uh, learn it so this is highly paid and along with it uh, there is another interesting one called graphic designing and this is also highly paid one uh, why don't you uh, i mean those who are really uh, good at designing things they should learn this also now let's come to creative writer well let's uh, see what's going on here creative writer yes um as you know in the online we read so much things right not just newspaper and there are so many articles in the internet that we read apart from video right and uh, it but you don't find uh, good writing skills or creative writing skills very easily okay so there is definitely a lot of demand so if you are really good at writing creative writing uh, you definitely want to pick up some uh, in uh, you definitely want to harness the opportunity here all right now um, now for you to be successful your article or the website that you create or whatever it should attract attention okay so i would say uh, being a starter i would say you just uh, start with some of these best um, portals or websites which accepts uh, what you call guest post then people start noticing you all right now you can also evaluate how good you are based on people's uh, response and comments and all that thing uh, so the bottom line is your article if it is good it will attract attention and traffic okay and uh, there are so many diverse topics uh, which people can work on now these are the uh, freelancing websites where uh, creative writing uh, opportunities are there where you can uh, sign up and uh, choose the available uh, what do you call projects or work orders and get going and this is a typical um, adding um, possibilities okay now as you know that a blogger is of course a writer and uh, well this is actually interesting i got a i got some a um, lot of points a uh, lot of inputs for you well let's see blogger just like we said a blogger can be only successful uh, if there is people interested in what you wrote okay that means a lot of traffic and views to your website and uh, then what that that translates into you able to use that um, crowd to sell uh, to make some um, what do you call the um, um, you can use that crowd to to, to sell your not to sell your meaning i'm trying to say that you must have heard about affiliate marketing i am talking about it little later um, um but before we go there let me see what i wrote here well yes you don't need any budget to be a successful blogger blogging websites are available for free so you start one for you and start writing okay 
even google has one and many are many got uh, blogging websites which you can use to start your own page uh, but you should be good at expertise in unique topics and some sort of special experience so that you stand out in the crowd okay of course your uh, earning depends on your article uh, quality the traffic it at attracts and number of views it receive etc and if you are really successful your page your blogging page on your right left top bottom etc or the empty spaces you can uh, what you call rent it out to the potential um, uh, customers who wanted to put an advertisement in your page now this is the typical rate uh, people charge for a small square to put an ad okay so this is how a blogger uh, make some earnings all right um, because nobody pays him otherwise so he has to earn through some other way uh, which is affiliate marketing and google adsense okay google also put ads for you based on the ad clicks and views and things like that google pay you as a blogger okay then it also talks about companies now if you are having a blogger blogging website which talks about mobile kind of thing uh, which where you review every mobile newly released then um, you may approach those companies especially when you are really doing good you can approach the companies that you can do the reviews for their models new models all right and mostly they will respond and that way also they may sponsor you a little bit okay then uh, there's another interesting thing which is called a premium uh, content a blogger who starts initially start with a lot of free uh, content reading then once they established in few years they may start a new section called a premium uh, reading kind of thing where some of the articles will be marked premium and those articles will be really worth a lot of value add, value addition so people will pay the little premium on it and read it so that way that's additional income that a blogger can make um, well a blog, blogger can also ask for donations especially when uh, you, um, you don't charge customers I mean the visitors too much and you have a good um, customer base and then they know that when you are in difficult time they will help you okay the super example is Wikipedia um, customers we already talked about this one guest post yes so yeah that's what I'm saying once you're established and known person you can do guest posting to reputed platforms and media firms okay guest contributors yeah you can once you are really established do you, they all recognize you and you can write for media and uh, reputed companies all that and you can continues to continues to make good earnings with creative writing and blogging and stuff like that youtube videos well everyone knows this it's very popular and easy uh, not camera shy well this is debatable because when you put your face make sure that it complements right um, otherwise what matters is whether you are helping the listener or not as long as your content is helping uh, your face is actually optional especially if you cannot um, if you don't complement it to the whole thing and for some people they don't show up their face because they want some privacy okay so what matters finally is are you delivering the content okay yes now topic well when you do a YouTube kind of thing um, make sure it is attracting and generating interest in people now YouTube channel monetization starts uh, when you meet this criteria well this is the kind of earning you are making web developer well most of the companies these days outsource web development 
okay and there is high competition this is easy to learn actually web development is easy to learn it's not that complex complex uh, there are a lot of free online easy tutorials okay so easy to learn but there is really stiff competition tough competition so you start with uh, reasonable pricing okay and once you established and uh, got the uh, experience and all that stuff you can increase the pricing so typically a project you may earn 20,000 at the least and it, and it goes up as you progress um, with uh, that being said I would like to conclude uh, our discussion uh, for uh, as part one okay and I will continue the discussion as part two for the remaining part of the uh, content okay so in part two we will do the starting your own online business or freelance this part okay so thank you for listening part one so i'll see you in part two okay you take care